This video on cubes is very similar to the one on squares. If you've understood the concept of squares, the concept of cubes will be stress-free. Let us get to the basics first. Look at this number on the board. It's read as 7 raised to 3. And raised to 3 is called cubed. So the number can be called 7 cubed. Why do we have a distinct name for raised to 3? Well, it's the same reason as to why we have a distinct name for raised to 2. It's because raised to 3 has many applications. Here is one of the practical examples. Assume we have a box in the shape of a cube. Assume the length of all its edges equal 3 cm. If we remember correctly, the volume of a cube is given by side multiplied by side multiplied by side. So that will equal 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. So this is actually 3 cubed. That will give us 27. So that's one of the practical applications of cubed or raised to 3. But wait, are we forgetting something? Yes, it's the units of the answer. So the units of each side are also multiplied to get centimeters cubed. That's the precise answer. The volume of the cube is 27 centimeters cubed. The answer can also be written as 27 cubic centimeters. So we can see that when three lengths are multiplied, we utilize the concept of cubes. Let's understand another straightforward example. Solve 10 cm multiplied by 9 cm multiplied by 6 cm. Multiplying the lengths gives us 540. We did not use the concept of cubes here as we have three different numbers. But multiplying the units gives us centimeters cubed. So the answer can also be written as 540 cubic centimeters. So whether it's squared or cubed, the units also differ accordingly. Now there's a vital property we need to understand. To understand the property, here are a few examples. How do we find the value of 7 cubed? It is 7 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 7 and that equals 343. Minus 14, the whole cubed equals minus 14 multiplied by minus 14 multiplied by minus 14. That equals minus 2744. And similarly, 18 cubed equals 18 multiplied by 18 multiplied by 18, which equals 5832. Observe the sign of the number and the sign of the answer. If negative, then negative. If positive, then positive. So we can say that for cubes of numbers, the sign of the answer is same as the sign of the number. That is, cube of a negative number will result in a negative number and the cube of a positive number will result in a positive number. <laughs>